you mentioned numbers a couple of times. One of the things that I want to want to kind of drill down into just a couple of the things that we, we do help with on these calls. Uh, this year, we've been diving really into the numbers, not necessarily the accounting numbers. I don't want to scare people away, but like on these growth on these group growth calls, growth group calls. How many? You know, what's your target? Like, what's your goal for this year? Uh, how many leads do you need to hit that goal? Right? Because a lot of times, and hey, I've been guilty of this in the past. Hey, I want to do 10 million this year. That that sounds awesome. I'm just going to put that down January 1st. I'm all pumped up. That sounds great. You get to the end of the year and like, you know, you're at 4 million or whatever you're at, you know, and there's no, there's no like, all right, well, how many appointments do I need? How many sales do I need? How many leads do I need to get there? What are the daily activities that I need to do or that we need to do as a company in order to get us there? Uh, which is something that, that, you know, we do here at Contractor Dynamics now. Thankfully, it's much more sane a way of operating a business. So talk about that a little bit. Like we started that in January of this year. Um, just, you know, how important it is to know those numbers. It's really important to know those numbers. And it's really hard to get past $3 million, you know, $4 million in sales and not know your numbers. Now, you can hustle. You can cowboy your way to $3, 4000000 I know some of you guys listening have done that. Kudos to you. I was one of those guys too. And then I was like, why the heck am I not making any more money, right? And then I started to focus on not only financial numbers, but it's like, then like Joe said, like, cool, I want to do 6 million. All right, well, what's my average job size, right? How, what's my closing rate on the, on those, right? Like how many leads do I need to get? Well, then, all right, cool. So now I want to do that. Well, how many people do I need now to add to my organization? Like, and we talk about all this and, and everyone's at a different stage in their, in their business acumen life, right? Like most entrepreneurs that I'm dealing with in these groups, if you're anything like me, we dropped out of college. Maybe we never even went to college because like, it just wasn't for us. But then you got the college guys that like learn so much stuff that like, they don't know how to hustle sometimes and get it moving. Right. And then there's the guys that are just awesome at both. Right. And you guys, you guys are awesome. Please call me. I need help. Right. But <laughs> those things and everything in between, like the, how to get a goal and work backwards. And it's not just numbers. Sometimes we talk about numbers cause that's where you have to start, but it's like, all right, what people do I need? All right. When I get too many, like when I get more than four or five salespeople, all right, man, I'm going to probably need a sales manager. Right. Cause like, if you're like, no one's leading the people, right. If I have more than four or five, six people in operations, someone's going to have to run operations. Right. And those are the two biggest things that I see these owners getting stuck in is when they grow and they got three, four million, they got five or six guys in ops, three or four salesmen. They're still managing all these people. And there's a big shortage of what I call leadership and then management in the roofing industry. And that's because, again, a lot of us just started from scratch, just doing the best that we could. And we just keep learning on the fly. But no one ever taught us how to be a leader. And no one ever taught us how to manage. And no one really taught us how to work backwards from a goal plan. So we, we cover all that. And uh, the cool thing is there's a lot of smart guys in our group and they can all help too. So. 